Hey folks, Dee Dee here today for uh, Amazing Crafting Products. I had this kind of cool, what I think is a cool idea to do an image transfer using resin before it cures. So I'm going to go the quick version today and uh, we're going to use the Amazing Casting Resin, which is a super quick flash. It's about five minutes. Um, I have a measuring cup so that I'm using equal parts and a stir stick and then I have this Oh, excuse my dog in the background there. I have this really cool vintage photo out of um, a National Geographic. Okay, so I am just going to pour equal parts A and equal parts B. Don't mix up the lids here, okay, folks? And as um, a little bit extra precaution, you could always wipe off the rim when you're done. But I'm going to pour, I'm not going to pour very much because I'm going to spread it out really even but I thought what might be cool is to have that really stark white background to do my image transfer on and this is totally experimental today okay so we're just gonna see what happens so there's my part A and part B I even got more than I actually had originally intended there, but that's okay. And mix, mix, mix. It gets cloudy. Then it's going to clear back up when it's completely cured. Or not completely cured, excuse me. Completely mixed. See how clear it got there again? You can see the bottom of my craft mat. I'm really excited about this to see what happens, okay? So I'm just going to pour some on my craft mat and spread it out but I don't want any bubbles so maybe that was the right amount I don't want any holes okay now this normally takes five minutes to cure it's gonna take a little bit longer this time because I'm spreading it out and you could use a brayer too but I don't want my brayer to get ruined coated in resin because my brayer is rubber and I know that rubber stamps do not mix well with the sulfur that's in the rubber does not mix well with their resin so it doesn't always cure completely correctly so I'm just gonna spread it out with the stir stick and be totally fine and not ruin my brayer okay I do have wipes here to get the there was a little bit of resin on my fingers to get it off and uh man I'm so nervous okay it's gonna be cool though right we don't know whoops i'm gonna trim down my trim down my image here you can see guys this is still completely clear it hasn't started to flash like i said by now it would start getting thicker but it's not because we've got it so spread out okay but so i just am trimming down my image all i did was take off the excess and I know for sure I want like this area here. So I'm going to position this here. Oh, I can feel it warming up even though it's spread out. Okay. And I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay. And um, I will be back as soon as, as soon as it's ready. <sighs> okay. So here we are back and you can see it's white here and it's it has started to flash, started to cure. This here is what's left in my cup, which is always a great indication of what it's going to be like underneath. Okay, so it's not quite tacky, but it is a little gummy still. There's nothing stuck to my fingers, but it's not hard like a resin pour would be. So I just wanted to pull it up and show you. Ooh, this is what we've got going on so far okay I am gonna give it a little while longer to cure if you've ever done an image transfer before basically we're going to peel off this area of paper we're gonna soak it in some warm water and work it off okay but so th <laughs> this is where we're at so far and I'm so so excited all right so I'm gonna flip it over this way and uh, we're gonna let it cure like this okay all right I'll be back Okay, so I'm back. Now, I have some baby wipes here that I'm going to start this whole image transfer with. 
Uh, I do want to remind you, we used a resin that cures white, so it's not going to be see-through this way. I'm not reversing the image. I'm actually going to put it back down like this, but it's going to have this like cool plasticky effect. Or, I mean, uh, I really don't even know what kind of effect it's going to have, but hopefully it has a really cool plasticky plastic effect. So I've got some baby wipes which are already kind of wet, and uh, I've just got a little bit of, uh, I've got a mister here, and I'm just going to give it a quick... Spritz, make it a little wetter than it was. Okay, and I'm gonna start wetting down the magazine from this side, okay? And you can see exactly what's happening. It's peeling up. And you've gotta be really gentle and careful with this because once it starts to peel up, you don't wanna pull up the ink that's on the other side. where you can see our image, our back image, poking through, okay? Let me give it another quick squirt. I'm move to my fingers so I can be more gentle. See that image coming through there? All right, I'm just gonna give it a quick clean up and uh, try to get off a little more of the paper. You just gotta be careful you don't rub that ink off that's now stuck to the resin, okay? All right, I'll be back. Okay, so now just a quick final showing here. I've been able to work off a lot more of the paper and you can see we've got that ghosted, because we put the white behind it, now it's kind of ghosted. So we've got this like really ghosted image of this gentleman carrying a boat, which I assume was a scale model. I didn't read the article and um, it's resin backed. Okay, so now we can go ahead and just secure it onto whatever we're working on, whether it be an art journal page. Oh, and look, I can still even pull some more layers of paper off there. Just be really careful. These spots in here, that's where I took off too much and uh, the ink has started to come up. But yeah, so now we're ready to work it into an art journal page or which is what I'm going to do with it. You can make a card with it, a really cool ghosted card or whatever you like. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Bye.